everyone, Dragonite here. So moving on in the GTA series. So um, we already did our first like side mission of the VIP, and we were told that we had to join a public lobby in order to access the server for Secro Serve and um, get into like the warehouses and import export for cars and stuff like that. Um, similar to the way that the um, motorcycle club works. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and access this. Um, I accidentally already logged in before, so you're not going to be able to hear the assistant um, basically describing it. But she set me up with a login, and then um, she just kind of went through, which I didn't even listen to what she was saying because I was busy working on uh, the video, the last video, uh, posting it to YouTube. So basically, there's special cargo and vehicle cargo. I believe that this, I'm not exactly sure what it is, probably like, you know, gun running and stuff I'm assuming and then this is obviously the private import export and then this is um, like a special vehicle kind of similar in my opinion to like the special vehicles um, you probably see nowadays in the Fast and Furious series with as far away from racing as it's gotten um, so we're gonna go ahead and launch into special cargo um, I do know that all the small garages or warehouses, sorry, um, have 16 crates, the medium garages have 42 crates, and the large garages or warehouses have 111 crates. Um, they're obviously different in price, the large ones range between like 1.9 million and like 3.5 to 4 million. Um, the medium ones are about 800,000 to a million. And then the smalls range from about 250 to 500,000. So we're going to go ahead and drop on this one, which is the cheapest one. Start from the bottom, work our way up, build up from there. No need to go big uh, right off the bat. So we're just going to go ahead and grab this. Now so we business. just bought. Green icons represent owned warehouses. All right, so we just bought you this can buy warehouse. More space by clicking on another red icon or click on your warehouse to start buying stock. Now, just counterfeit choose how goods. You want to buy and we'll set up a deal. All right, so shipments come in three sizes. You're a wholesaler, so you don't differentiate over what you're holding. You just buy whatever's on the market. You can buy small, you know, minimizing your outlay and your risk, or you can buy big with a view to stockpiling quickly and offloading to the wealthier buyers. When you click buy, the money leaves your account. It's on you to collect the product and to get it to the warehouse. Dealers can be untrustworthy, but that's life, I'm afraid. I was listening to that. Did y'all hear it? No. Y'all couldn't hear that? No. Alright, well, my viewers will be able to hear it. Alright, so basically, um, I can purchase one, two, or three crates of counterfeit goods. Because I'm running a convenience store lockup. We're dealing in counterfeit goods. I don't know if it changes depending on what warehouse you buy. Or if it just changes depending on the size I'm not exactly sure but basically there's one crate two crates or three crates between the prices of 2,000 8,000 or 18,000 and when we buy those crates you either stay safe and buy small or you go big and buy big and if you you know you keep your your inventory at a minimum then you don't have to worry about selling it all you you, you know you don't have as big of an inventory or you can stack up and try to sell to the the um more wealthier buyers with bigger uh, crate amounts. However, once we purchase, once I purchase these, the money will leave my account, and it's up to us to go and get the goods safely. Let's go. So, do we want to buy one crate, two crates, or three crates? Uh, two thousand, eight thousand, or eighteen thousand. Not even sure how much I have. I think I had two hundred eighty-eight thousand, so I should have about thirty-eight thousand, so I can afford. I'm gonna do the two crate. All right, let's do two crates. All right, so, I'm gonna, so we're purchasing a medium-sized shipment of counterfeit goods. Okay, we're right, on. Cool. Go and collect right, the so goods. Now we gotta go collect I'll these goods. I'll be in touch if anything crops up. Good luck, boss. All right, so let's hit the. Uh, Y'all wanna hit the streets and get the. Um, fuck. That's all I was saying. Is the office closed. We closed in or some I'm shit. Free, boss. One hundred percent. Okay. That's what I'm saying, like, on the roof we might have that helipad, but I would say ground. Uh, to the ground. Alright, cool. So, um, we're 
basically right now we are exactly five minutes in uh, on this video as y'all can see diving right into the VIP um, went ahead and got this warehouse set up and now we are moving in getting some cargo getting it all set up doing all basically the pregame work here's our assistant calling okay so she basically just said go get our shit We need more better We're riding this shit. Yeah, and I don't know how that works as far as like Do you have the waypoint or you need it? Alright, so uh, it looks like it's up here in Hollywood Hills. Let's see what uh, has passed Hollywood Hills. Uh, it's like basically still up here in Hollywood Hills. We're gonna turn around and leave back in, staying in Hollywood Hills. Alright, is that a vehicle? Stop, stop this car. Cars on the move. And I got this little Volkswagen crap. Straight trash. I don't care. It's something. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to like break the bank. Sign up for so much stuff, but I just know that the teams we played last year in four and four were the least competitive. We had the biggest chance to win that division. I don't know where the hell these guys are, Pete, but... Well, see, I thought that I could just fly off the side of that mountain, but when I got closer to it, I could tell that, no, that, that wasn't the case. Dude, where the hell are these at? Like, every single... Oh, damn, we should stop going to take a look. Yeah, they are on the move, but, dude, what are they in? All right, rear, rear, rear. Get out and get that car. Get her car. Let's split up and go towards the one that uh, Pete's not going towards and I'm not going towards. I'm trying to just... Oh my God, dude. Glad we're not timed on this bullshit. Nah. Yeah, dude, this person's like way the fuck out. I'm trying not to die as I run down this hill. Cause like I'm not gonna drive back through. Oh shit. I'm not gonna drive back through Hollywood Hills. Like, that's just shit. I'm literally walking down the steep ass mountain right now. Oh shit. Oh dude, I'm just. Gonna... Uh, cause even I have to unlock that shit and then I have to like pay for certain ones. I doubt it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, and when you press like, uh, bring up your map, it's not even, um, like, on there. Like, it, like, 
the different um, boxes, the different like little green boxes aren't even tracked on there, like the counterfeit goods. Saying that for you? And pop up for me, yeah. Pretty close. Go. Yeah, me and you are going to the same one. Fuck. Alright, well, me and Rivet take this car out. right now. There it is. I'm going to hit this turn real quick. Okay. Alright guys, so we uh, took us a little while. It took us a, yeah. This is kind of more detailed than I thought it was going to be. These uh, little side missions are quick snatch and grabs. This one is a little bit more like it's hard to track them because they were on the move and they didn't show on the hub. Alright, cut them off. Alright, so we found. Do what? What do you mean? Oh shit. 
All right, so a, uh, a tracker has pinged a signal uh, map. Now visible to all players that can track and destroy us. Destroy us and earn cash, ammo, and uh, RP. Thing is slow as hell. It's just like fan from like the night, freaking that '70s show or something. It's horrible. Trash. thing get on the move. Almost to the drop off. It says special cargo vehicle delivered. Like a cutscene is probably gonna happen. Oh, that's sick. Special cargo that you have purchased and returned safely to the warehouse will be stored on these racks. A total stock of special cargo held in a warehouse can be sold to an interested buyer anytime using a laptop. The laptop is not connected to a secure network, meaning your special cargo will be sold through. The more legitimate ad, okay. Upgrade your special delivery vehicles to ensure your special cargo makes it to the buyer once a piece. Cool. Alright, so yeah, this is a tiny ass little. Well done, boss. The warehouse is filling up. You can sell stock at any time by accessing the network. Prices depend on negotiating position, though. So the more stock you have, the better the price you'll get. Thank Holding is risky. Right? So find a level you're comfortable with and sell there. Alright, so basically holding, y'all heard it, holding, uh, tons of inventory is risky. Um, we got a little bit of stuff. You know what the hell this is, like, guns or something? Money, what the hell is that? It's all money. There's a little laptop. Alright, so our stock out of 16 crates that we can hold um, is at 2 currently. Current offers are accelerating a 0%, but our, and we haven't made any sales, no earnings, obviously. Um, we could sell both crates that we paid 8000 for for 22000 right now. But I'm wondering if we get more crates if we'll I think she said if you have more crates it's a better price the more you sell the better you the price but don't hold too much because it's uh, it's risky so yeah no need to sell right now I think we're okay um, we should exit and try to get more crates all right guys well um, it's already uh, almost a 20 minute video it takes a while to play this game get through it and actually do something that's worth um, capping a video from start to finish over um, so so as you can see guys, um, we went ahead and we uh, did the first, like basically the first um, serious mission for the VIP update. We went ahead, we set up our warehouse and we got our initial two crates of cargo. Um, and if we were to sell right now, we could make a profit of $14,000. Um, obviously the bigger you you know, you know, go, the more profit you'll make, but we're starting small, gonna get used to the, the way that things work. And then um, as we, gain more money then we'll kick it off and uh, go for the larger sums of money all right guys well I'm um, sorry for how long the video is it's about 20 minute video uh, if you're still watching thank you uh, as always please like rate and subscribe as well as follow me on all my social media Twitter YouTube and twitch are uh, my three um, main ones all right thank you guys